Hey YouTube, what's up? We got a new collection update today. Nani loves death metal. Happy Monday, um, Easter Monday, just a regular Monday, whichever you prefer. Uh, it was Easter this last weekend here in the U.S. Um, I'm not religious or anything like that. I don't go to church or anything like that. But we did celebrate it with with family. Uh, had a nice dinner. Got the kids stuff for Easter. Did all that fun stuff. So. Um, figured I'll do a chill collection update today. I actually just got a bunch of stuff in the mail, like literally just now. And I, I, I took them out of the packaging, but I haven't, I haven't really gone deep into listening. Well, there's two things I haven't really gone deep into listening to yet. Other stuff I've heard several times because it's, it's old whole filler stuff. So, you know, I'm on that CD, um, hype right now. I've been buying a lot of CDs. So there's five CDs here and then I've got one vinyl that I got in that I actually forgot that I ordered. From Red Scroll, which is a phenomenal record shop out in Connecticut. You should definitely check it out if you're ever out that way. Um, so I bought something off from them. They had a great price on it. It was so cheap. It was cheaper than, than what I've seen in previous times I've looked. So I, I couldn't couldn't pass it up. So I decided to get it. So I'm exhausted today. It's Monday. I've got some nice coffee. And my nice little Florida cup. <laughs> Yes, I do drink hot coffee in Florida, even when it's almost 90 degrees outside. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I got in, um, did I get this off Night Shift? I must have, because that's where they released it, I believe, is the new Suffocation CD live in North America. Uh, this was from 1998. They were in Massachusetts, and this is actually the last tour uh, with their vocalist, Frank Mullen. So... I am not a huge live album aficionado. I don't generally collect them. I've said that a couple of times on here. Uh, I just don't really enjoy them as much as I, as much as other people do, I would say. Um, but in this particular one, this one's a little bit of a historical moment. Like I said, it's the last tour with Frank Mullen, their vocalist. Uh, and I actually did, I, I popped this on Apple Music a couple of weeks ago and listened to it and was like, you know, this is actually a pretty good live album. Uh, and Suffocation is one of my favorite death metal bands. Um, and I've been trying to get the rest of the albums that I need. Uh, I should be getting those this week. So then I'll probably do a, a ranking and discography video for them as well. Um, and I, I just got it. It was a good price. It was only 10 bucks. I figured, well, I might as well add it to the collection. I, I, and I'll probably put it on after I'm done with recording this video but it's got you know all the great songs in here effigy of forgotten uh jesus wept is probably one of my all-time favorite suffocation songs um souls to deny is another one of my favorite suffocation songs uh so it's got it's got it's a really good really good mix of songs across all their albums um it's a really nice album it was not on nuclear blast but i think i got this through night shift merch night shift did a pre-order for this there's also a t-shirt that's up with this artwork um is on the front and then on the back is this crazy artwork on the back so i might actually wear that t-shirt it looks pretty cool um so yeah check this out if you have it it's good stuff uh next up is again another whole filler uh napalm death util utilitarian yeah um pff, fucking which one is this now napalm has a thousand records let me just pull up the napalm death uh, discography here the endless amounts of I hope that's actually their full website I don't want to go to that um, all right so let's pull it up here I think this is like this is a relatively newer one I believe my dog is making noise so I'm sure you can hear it. yeah this came out in 2012 so this is their one of their latest albums uh, throws was uh, two years ago apex predator was five years before that this was 2012 so this is one of their newer ones um, they got this through Century Media. Uh, I got it directly from them, um, along with several other things that was, uh, I think I've just randomly shown off on here, but this one actually came because it was a separate order, but there you go. Nice picture of the guys there, and again, the teeth are broken, so this disc is going to fly out like I did in my last, my last video, my Pig Destroyer ones. Uh, really cool booklet, I will say. Really nice. I, I like when they give, you know, the, the big booklets. I'm, I'm a nerd for that shit. It's got all the vocals, or all the vocals, all the lyrics in here. Uh, it's got these, you know, very Napalm-esque pictures. 
uh, and that's the cover. So in terms of Napalm, is this a great album? Yeah, all of their latest albums are just so good. I, this is the one of the few bands, in my opinion, that just progresses as they keep going. They just continue to pump out really good, consistent music. Um, and somebody actually asked me to do a discography ranking of Napalm Death, and I just don't no <laughs> i don't think i can do that because i will be honest with you there are probably about one two three four five six seven eight eight records that i don't think i've ever really heard um so i would need to do that first and then well, maybe we can talk but i just don't have the time or the commitment right now for that but maybe someday um, I am very much a fair weather Napalm fan in that I buy albums as I listen to them. Um, and those are the albums that I know. So this album I really enjoy. Um, really enjoy Thrills that came out a couple years ago. I really enjoyed the EP that they released this year. That's really good. You should fucking check that out. Uh, and then I think Apex Predator, Easy Meat is an amazing album. Um, Scum obviously is one that I'm familiar with from Enslavement to Obliteration is another one that I'm familiar with, and then Utopia Banished is another one I'm familiar with, but the rest of their discography I'm very not familiar with. So, uh, but this one I finally got, and I do have a few more that are coming that I ordered through Earache. Uh, Earache had a huge CD sale where everything was $7 flat, and so I just, I went in on that, <laughs> and I bought a bunch of them, uh, and it made it worth the shipping costs and all that stuff. So this is another earache album that I actually ordered separately um off of Bandcamp. I didn't realize it was coming from earache I thought it was coming directly from the band but it came from earache but the shipping was only three bucks so depending on where you order on earache and I never opened it because like I said I just got it so I'm opening it on camera right now because I'm super excited that I finally got this in it took about a week to get here you know it came from earache um, they have a new album coming out, another band that I'm not 1000% uh, knowledgeable on. I literally just heard them for the first time this year. This is because of my friend Paul, the, the grind lord that we call. This is Warm Rot with uh, Hiss. Is this is called Hiss or is that their newest one? No, Voices. Sorry, Hiss is their newest one that's coming out this year uh, with Voices. So again, I ordered this off Bandcamp thinking it was coming directly from the band, uh, not realizing it was coming from, from Earache. And uh, Earache uh, sent it, and it was only three, like three bucks shipping. So, but, but a lot of times, if you order albums off of Earache's website coming into the US, it's like a $15 shipping charge, regardless of what you're getting. So, I don't know. Bandcamp has smaller shipping charges, I guess. So, I, I will learn that now from ordering through Earache. So, yeah, this fucking album. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of this band now, let me tell you. So Worm Round, if you're not familiar, there's a grindcore band. They are from Singapore um, and phenomenal. This is just goes hard. Oh, it's so good. It just it completely melts your brain. It is that fast, aggressive grindcore, but it's really good. It's not the chaotic. It's not the mush mouth sounding like sometimes sounds like you're literally grinding your teeth when you, when the vocalist goes on like, nah, this guy, he's got some pipes. Uh, I don't know how to say his name. Arif? Fucking, he's nuts, man. So this is good. These guys, it looks like they've been around since late 2000s, early 2000s. It looks like they might have had a little bit of a hiatus. Yeah, they had a big hiatus there. Uh, they only have four four records out. I just pre-ordered Hiss, which is coming out this year, uh, I think in July. Uh, but they have Dirge and Abuse, which I have not heard yet. And there is a four-tape a box set of all their albums that's up for pre-order right now so I that's tempting it's only 60 bucks and that's kind of worth it uh for what you get but I I'm I bought the cd because it's available um there's the band right there uh I don't know I may just get the vinyl I don't know yet but for now cd is good enough so that's some good shit if you have not heard Worm Rot yet and you're a grindcore fan and you're looking for something new check them out and then go listen to Hiss their first two songs are out right now I'm really excited. That is probably one of my most anticipated albums right now. Hiss that's coming out. Uh, I can't wait. So I, I do have that CD on pre-order. I can't wait to get it. Um, so that's just got that in. I'm excited to pop that in. That album is really good. 
vo Voices is really, really good. I've listened to it several times digitally, so I'm excited that I can put it on my my speakers today and, and blast it like crazy when when the house is empty. Uh, so, which the house is not empty right now. I'm sure you've heard my dog scratching at the door. I'm sure you've heard the wife in the background. I'm sure you've heard the kid in the background. It's just, you know, holiday stuff. So everybody's home today. Um, so, all right. So the next two CDs are whole fillers. Um, so I did the autopsy ranking discography that is up. Go check it out. Um, but before I recorded that video, I also ordered several other CDs that I never didn't get in in time. So I only did the studio albums, but uh, some of their EPs is some of the best music in their, in their discography, in my opinion. And one of these is here finally. So this is the 2006 EP that came out. The hell was this called against Skull Grinder? So I got this in. I think I got this. Did I get this through Hell's Headbangers? I think I did. They, yeah, they got like a bunch of shit in, in stock. And so I've just been buying cds like crazy so you can find this on peaceville too so if you're looking for it, i'm pretty sure it's also on amazon so this came out in 2016 yeah yeah and uh it's good stuff like the band this is this is a really good ep i really like it so uh, i got this in so check this out if you haven't heard it yet um i like the album cover you know classic classic um Autopsy, they continue off from Tourniquets and Hacksaws, the, you know, which I, you guys know is one of my favorite Autopsy albums. They just have progressed from there. Like, this is pretty, a, pretty brutal, nice, nice, pretty brutal, nice album. It's a pretty awesome, brutal EP. Uh, I really, really like it. So I'm excited that I got that. And then I also snagged this. This is their demos, a compilation of demos called Critical Madness, The Demo Years. Uh, so this was available too. So I snagged it. Um, cause I don't own any of their demo stuff and I don't remember exactly what came on here. There's some cool pictures in here though. It's got like the story of autopsy in here. It's got some promotional flyers, posters from the tours that they've done. There's one with dark angle and paradise lost and, uh, is that sadistic content? Yeah. These are pretty cool. I like when they do stuff like this, when they put the, the tour posters in here of, of what they've done. Um, so it's got the 1987 demo, it's got another 87 demo, it's got a bunch of 87 demos, a couple of 88s in here. So yeah, it's just a compilation of, of a couple of demos on here. Um, so, and this is good too. I listened to this, uh, digitally the other day, nice little there. So yeah, got the dead guy in the front, the, the baseball glove and hat. I'm sure there's a story behind that. Um, so yeah, I, I grabbed this to try and top off the autopsy collection. There's there's a couple more that I need to get. I think there's like three or four more left that I still have to get. Uh, so I'll be on the hunt for those. But for now, I got those. That's it for the CDs. So the vinyl is one that this was a random, random band camp find. I was... I'm Bandcamp, uh, looking for some new grindcore music, which is what I've been doing a lot lately. And this was one that came up relatively higher in the, like, what do you call it? Like trendingness or whatever. And I, I clicked on it because I liked the album cover. So I did it. This was a judging on the album cover thing. Anyway, I loved it. And I wanted the vinyl. Um... And I don't remember why I didn't order it on Bandcamp. It might have been because of the shipping costs. But anyway, I found it on Red Scroll. Again, local shop in Connecticut. You should check them out. They've got a really huge, huge collection of things. Uh, so this is... <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> if this is the el the band name or the album title. This is, this is me not knowing uh, and recording off the, uh, the cuff here. So I think... Uh, and I'll just show you guys. So atrocity exhibit with extinction solution. It, yeah, extinction solution. I fucking I don't know. So let me let me look up this band, you guys, so I can tell tell you a little bit more about them. Um, atrocity exhibit exhibition. I I said that wrong. Atrocity exhibition. Is that it? No, exhibit. I can't type. Jesus. If I had bought this off Bandcamp, it would just be in my, uh, it'd be in my, um, 
frequently in my, my last purchase thing we're having here we go the atrocity exhibits that's what they're called okay with extinction solution uh this band is from the uk and this is just a random ass record that was was recommended to me through Bandcamp. i listened to it really really liked it and bought it off a of red scroll i think i got this for like under 20 dollars, to be honest with you um so i don't know too much about this band um trying to find their metal archives here here we go uh so it looks like they've been around for a while uh, they've had a couple eps come out in 2008 they have two other full lengths okay so they have two other full lengths that came out in 2010 2011 so there was quite of a big gap this came out in 2018 so this is not by means a new album at all uh so it's been out for several years now and it's got this printed inner sheet lyrics and then the artwork so the artwork reminds me of of like a pop punk metalcore album just to throw that out there um and that's what I thought this was when I first heard it. But no, this is grindcore to a T. And it's very, very good. Um, and I got the pink vinyl variant, which I don't know if it was several other variants out there. I don't know like if this is a repress or anything like that. I just got what was available. So I'm looking at Bandcamp right now. They do have that's now i'm remembering why i didn't buy off bandcamp they do have a black copy of this and the shipping was just didn't didn't make sense i didn't want to deal with the shipping so i just i saw that red scroll had it so i snagged it off of discogs and got it that way so anyway this is really good i really enjoy it um i don't know if this band is actually it says they're still active on metal archives i have no idea if they're making anything new or if they have anything up and coming let me see if the members are in anything else casket feeder looks like they're drummers and casket feeder which i i'm familiar with that band but i don't really know them that well uh so yeah really good grindcore album um kind of was a sort of a blind buy i heard a couple songs on Bandcamp, like what like what i like what i heard and i, I snagged it um uh, again the vinyl was just cheap that was why i got it so um yeah they're from the uk that's really all that i know uh but really good and i will link it in the description so you guys can check it out uh, so that is my um, off-the-cuff collection update for this very slow, dragging Monday. I'm exhausted today. Um, I do have several videos I'm going to be putting up this week. I'm trying to edit them, get them exported, and do all that stuff through my software that I use. Um, and get it up. So the Carcass Ranking Discography is going to probably go up today, hopefully. I'm hoping I can get that up today. Um, and then Black Metal Monday has a little bit of a hiatus right now because I haven't been listening to a whole lot of black metal, but I did get some VCLT in today as well, where a, a viewer of mine and a friend of mine on Instagram sent me three CDs and I got them in the mail today. Two of them are things that I probably, well, I'll show them, but we'll talk about it. So yeah, that's coming. I'll get Black Metal Monday up and running eventually soon. So that's all that I have today, guys. I hope you had a great weekend, and let's get the week, the week started off right. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.